You think you know the difference between a 22 short and a 9 millimeter? We're going to redefine those terms next. Hey folks, welcome back to Get on Target with Link. Now, I started this out by saying you don't know the difference between a 9mm and a 22 short. Well, I'm pretty sure if you're on this channel, you probably do know the difference between the two. But we're going to redefine that for this channel, for the purposes of Get on Target with Link. 9mm. On Tuesdays, we're going to be publishing uh, an episode that will be more the meat of the matter. It'll be gun reviews and gear reviews and demonstrations and shooting techniques really getting down to the heart of it, the learning curve of, of being beginners, learning more about our sport or our interest or our passion, just getting down into the, into the nitty gritty. On Thursday, it's going to be more like this. It's going to be a vlog format where I get to talk to you, tell you what's going on with, with my shooting life and what's happening with me, hopefully finding out what's happening with you. Uh, using the comments, I'll be able to look at those and talk about it here and and see what's going on with Chip or, uh, or Mickey or Julie. Um, find out what's going on with them and, and sharing it and start to have a little dialogue about what's going on with our gun lives. You can tell me that, you've, that you really liked this one episode, that you got something out of it, or you really didn't like this one and why the heck did you do that, Link? Um, or tell me what kind of things you'd like to see on here. It's a way of talking to each other and creating a, creating a community around guns and shooting. That's what it's about. Hopefully we can all get together here and, and share that. So Tuesday, meet of the matter. Thursday, chat and getting to know each other. That's the format for the foreseeable future and I hope you enjoy it. Now there are two different types of gun channels out there. There are purist gun channels and there are activist gun channels. These are two different things. One is a political entity and one is just about guns and the sport and the, the use and the shooting and so forth. That's what we're going to be about. There's a place for both of these things. This is not a judgment. This is a choice of mine. This is going to be a gun channel, not an activist channel. We're leaving all that outside the door. There are plenty of activist channels out there and if that's what you want to do, if you want to plant a flag or if you want to remove one, there's plenty of places to go. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's the First Amendment. Great. Speak your, speak your piece. Uh, but this is not about that. The piece I want to speak about are guns and shooting. That's it. That's all we're talking about here. So, there are other people that are strictly gun specialists. And some of these people are brilliant. They have spent a lifetime developing their expertise in this subject. I will never be that. I will never get to the, I'll never attain that kind of expertise. They spent a lifetime doing it. I don't have a lifetime left to do it. They're amazing. And you will be referred to those folks all the time because they're fantastic and they're my mentors. They're the people that I learn from. This is a channel for beginners. I can bring some expertise on a beginner level to people that are just starting out. And sometimes that can be helpful because it's not so highbrow. It's not taken from the level of, a, of an incredible expert within the field. I'm a layman that just has an interest in guns and hasn't been involved in it for a lifetime. I'm sharing my journey and what I'm learning and how I'm growing with my shooting with you. I hope you do the same. That's what the comments are for. But this is not going to be a place to air our dirty laundry about our political views. It's just not. It's not what it's for. The gun business is going insane. It's off the charts. If you have that one particular gun that you've always wanted to have, that, that dream weapon, try to find it. It might be tough. 
You go into the gun stores today and the shelves are depleted, very little inventory, very difficult to get them. Once you do find that perfect gun, now try to load it. It's hard to find the ammo. It's, it's all gone. It's being, it's being sold before it's even hitting the shelves. There are a couple of different reasons for this. Uh, on the one side, there are people that are afraid that the Second Amendment will be repealed and that guns will be confiscated and made illegal. So those people are buying guns and ammunition and hoarding them in the, uh, in the fear that they're, they're not going to be able to do it in the, in the future um, and planning on, on defending that right. There are people that are called preppers. Preppers believe that the, uh, the collapse of civilization is an eventuality and they're preparing so that for survival to be able to last through the, the chaos. Then there are people on the other side of the spectrum that are buying guns and ammunition because they're afraid of the people on the other side of the spectrum. Some of these people are talking about defending their right to uh, gun ownership to the death and, and violent rhetoric. There are channels to this effect. These people are afraid of those people and they're planning on having some way of defending themselves. So across the spectrum, there's really only one motivation for everyone that's, that's creating this, this gun explosion uh, in the industry, and it's fear. I'm a businessman. I've been in sales for over 30 years. And every ad man will tell you there are really only two motivators when you're talking about advertising. One, get people so excited about a product that they just have to have it. They're, it's, they're, look what I'm going to get. This thing I'm going to get. I can't wait to get it. And the second one is fear. And if you ask a good ad man, they'll tell you that second one, that's where the money is scare the bejesus out of people that they're going to lose something and they will take action. They'll take the credit card out. They'll get off the couch. They'll buy something. Well, that's happening right now and it's very difficult to get a hold of anything. Hopefully, people on both sides of this conversation are crazy. Hopefully. We don't know what's coming down in the future. We, we, you can't predict it. But this isn't the place to talk about it. Don't care. I don't want to know about your fears here. I respect that you have them. I respect that you want to talk about them. There's plenty of places to do this. But this channel is not about your fears. This is about your passion. If you don't have a passion for guns themselves, this probably isn't for you. That's what it's about. It's about guns and shooting. That's it. Now, don't misunderstand me. There's nothing wrong with having strong political views. I have my own. I just don't choose to have this be the forum to share them. And I will not have other people doing so either. I don't object to experts commenting in uh, the comments to let me know maybe if I missed something, maybe if I got something wrong, uh, directing me to resources that will correct uh, a, a mischaracterization of something I may have shared with my audience. No problem with that at all. Appreciate it. But I will tell you that the experts are probably going to be bored with my channel. This isn't for them. This is for the beginner. This is for people that don't have a ton of expertise and are just starting to get involved and excited about guns and learning about them. I can help you with that perspective. But that's what the comments are for, and I hope you use them. All right, I'm going to be dating myself with this next reference, but I'm going to take a shot. I think there's enough of you that'll know what I'm talking about that I'll get away with it. This channel is going to be the cheers of gun channels. Come on in. Everybody knows your name. You know the deal. We've got a spot for you. Pull up a pull up a stool, grab one, and let's talk guns and gear and say what we did this week and exaggerate a little. I'll try not to. But the whole point is 
all of us can come together here. We leave our fears on the outside here. We bring our passion and share it with each other and enjoy each other. That's the point. Now, within that context, I think I'll probably be the uh, Cliff Clavin of the bunch. You remember him? You know, he's the guy, the mailman, who knew everything, but then he would show his cards and you find out he's basically an idiot. That'll be me, okay? Who do you want to be? Or who are you? Are you, are you Sam? Are you Diane? <laughs> How about Woody or Frazier? Who are you? Tell me in the comments. Let me know which Cheers character you are in the context of this Guns channel and why. This should be fun. I'm looking forward to seeing some of those comments. Okay, so just to wrap up, uh, Tuesdays, meat of the matter, nitty gritty, gun gear reviews, demonstrations, shooting techniques, etc. Thursdays, vlog format, getting to know each other, getting a little bit more intimate and finding out what's going on and just having a good chat, just kind of a little chat about guns with friends. That's Thursdays. So if this idea sounds good to you and you want to be a part of it, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so you don't miss anything because there's going to be a ton coming up and come on aboard with Get on Target with Link. Cheers.